If you are under the age of 18 and are watching this video, please stop now. This content was not intended for you. Hey everybody, it's Tamika and I am here with a quick video. Um, it's a project share of a swap that I participated in hosted on Instagram by Roxy. Her handle is Hello It's Me Roxy and it's called the Crafty Love Kit Swap. And um, it was an awesome swap. I had fun playing with it. So what you had to do was make like a love uh, dangle box of sorts with like little crafty bits so you could do um the components to make a dangle to make a pokey tool to make um a pin decorative pin dangle type of thing but you had to have some type of a dangle so i decided to make like a lobster class dangle that you can that somebody can hang on the end of a project um i didn't have any of the fancy tools or a pokey tool or anything so i decided to make a plain old dangle um with the lobster class but in that uh the components had to be mixed um 15 beads and or charms at least to make whatever the item is in my case like i said a dangle and the accessories so that means your flathead pins your um jump rings your chain whatever it is the person had to get the kit to, to they could make something when they got it they would be able to make something okay um and you had to have a 18 inches of ribbon all of this had to be part of your theme whatever paper you chose all of it had to coordinate so you would give 18 inches of ribbon and then a ribbon holder had to be on a card of some sort plus some elements of decorating the card don't just throw a ribbon in there um you had to have a button card of different buttons and decorate that um as well and then a crafty goodie also the container was part of the swaps so you had to package up everything that you sent had to fit in this container so your beads your ribbon your button card your crafty goodie and decorate the box so um i'm going to show you what i did i used the garden party um paper the digital paper and um the regular paper and i used the chipboard pieces and the stickers in my swap so um we were to make and send we were in groups of three so make and send three of course i made one for the hostess um and i have that over here to the side because it's not it's open so i can show you what it looks like um so we were going to send these back in a medium flat rate box and they had to fit Three of them had to fit in the medium flat rate box. So I purchased these boxes from Hobby Lobby. They are, they were just white um, gift boxes. As you can see, I shrink wrapped mine um, because I, <laughs> I did extra and these barely fit in the box. Like I have to put them in the box like this. And then the fourth one will fit <laughs> just like that. And then if I push down, they'll fit in the box, uh, all four of them. So three of them will fit in there. And like I said, just barely, honey. Um, so these are just regular white boxes. I wanted them to be sturdy so that the recipient can use it. I didn't want to make a box out of paper and, you know, it risks breaking, uh, cracking or what have you when you're shipping it. So like I said, I use Garden Party. And the reason why I use the digital collection is because I needed to have everything match. And again, I shrink wrap this. So when they get it, they just pop it open and then everything will, you know, breathe on the bottom i um i didn't have any more room in my box because everything had to fit in there goodies and all so i didn't have any more room in my box so what i did instead was put my information on a sticker on the bottom of the box um and then look and i just look at this craft girl kid swap what is that who swap is this it's it is crafty love kid swap look this is in there now it wouldn't be a mistake if it was it wouldn't be my swap if i didn't mess up on something but i mean crafty love <laughs> okay so anyway hello uh i hosted by hello it's me roxy and then my name is and my youtube handle so um this is just my logo i just you know made it into sticker paper and printed it off and um you'll see all these items up here up close they are all the i won't say exact because i hate it when people say they are all the exact same except for then they name all six things then sweetheart they're not the exact but they are 99 percent the exact same um i had three chipboard 
pieces that I could do exactly um, use everything for and I layered them on top of each other and like I said you'll see all of the items um, here in a second so I just want to show you what they look like so they'll go in the boxes nice and neat nothing will hopefully get torn or broken during shipping so that's that I'm going to show you what's in the box here so this is what I and I'll just go through briefly because like I said I want this to be a show and tell but I end up talking for so so long as if you guys are like right here sitting in my craft room all right so the top of the boxes have um these huge Michaels um flowers they used to come in uh what two or three to a pack and then they have some smaller flowers um from my stash here this is a recollection flower and then I made some um flowers from uh, another paper collection that went with this is still a Maggie Holmes. This one might be Magical Forest, maybe. And I have another little spiral flower here. I just used my uh, Cameo to cut that out um, and do that. And I used um, a die to cut out this cute little leaf with some uh, Carstock Warehouse paper and forest green. And then I have some of this really cute table mesh I got from Hobby Lobby in this gold color. It's really just gauze, gold color gauze, but it is so, so pretty. So I have that on there as well coming out in some of the spots. There's stickles on top. And then I have some um, beads in there um, just to use as little extra little um, texture pieces uh, that's part of the swap, I mean, uh, part of the top of the box, just to add some like a little texture. And then I have this gold um, trim that I just wanted to like fill in this little negative space here. And the chipboard pieces are popped up on dimension. And then this says wonderful, all the rest of them say, hello, this one's for the hostess. It's not any different, except like I said, I had just the pieces of chipboard um, that I had available. And uh, I did a one of the layers here on, um, from the garden party and I did a straight stitched around that uh, put that on pop dots and then did another uh, piece of the garden party and then added uh, zigzag stitching. And then around uh, the whole perimeter of box, top and bottom, I um, printed off the, the paper and did strips. Two, it took one and a half strips to go around the perimeter. This box is about 4.6 inches in um um, circumference and um, so I printed off this so it's like the length of one and then another piece to go around and then I um, stitched it and filled it with sequin all the way around so this is the box top I also added this cute little butterfly it's from the Dollar Tree and I thought they were really really cute so when they get it and they take it out of a little wrap just you know fluff her up and she'll be good to go so that's what this top looks like and um the bottom same same thing here i did uh one of the uh black and white chevron pixelated type paper and uh because i needed it to close when they take all the goodies out this box closes like this so i needed it to be have less space so um you know it'll close this is what the white box looks like. just plain old white box and then i did again the sequin all around the bottom for that with some gold mesh netting and then here is my um little label here i did print out another sheet of uh paper from the garden party collection stitched it in a circle to cover the bottom of the box because it had like the upc label and all that stuff on there i didn't want that to be naked and then i put my sticker on top using htv rots um sticker paper the things that i can mention uh, the things that i mentioned that i can link i'll link them below so if you like what you see you'll see um the printer that i use the ink that i use the sticker paper here um this paper here i'll link all these things for you guys um if you want to see so that's that and then so the first thing i have sitting on top so this is how it'll look when they open it so the first thing i have on top is the button card and uh you can see here i've shrink wrapped that as well um because this little buddy right here although i love it so much and it's so so cute it won't stick <laughs> it won't stay stuck so what i did was put repositionable dots on under the buttons um and i know we're supposed to have five but i 
added some extra ones that I thought that they could use. So I have um, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. And then I just have um, little pieces of repositionable dots on there. And um, I put the buttons on there. So all of these worked fine. This little guy down here kept rolling. So you can see that right there. It's already migrated inside the package. But that, I mean, um, when I was heat shrink wrapping it. So, but what I like about this button card is um, she, she said you had to have three elements. So I have shaker, stitching. She counted all of this. Shaker, stitching, uh, of course, sequin mix, eyelet. And then I have one, two, three, four ribbons um, through that. And then there's another stitch layer paper on the back just to make it sturdy. Um, so I have an eyelet here. And then that's where all the ribbon is behind there because I wanted the buttons to show. Um, but the plus about it is when they use the buttons and take them off and put them in their button stash, they can use the tag and just rub off the little repositionable dots. And then they, this is a shaker tag. So um, it's acetate under... Of, uh, under the buttons, obviously, to keep that. And that's just stitched across uh, in the circle. So I thought that was super cute. It'll have a nice little fluff on it. Um, and I think they'll be able to use that and they'll be happy with that. Um, and then let's see another requirement. Um, the goodie, I struggled with <laughs> uh, what I was going to send. I ended up sending everyone a new roll of washi tape because um, I knew that bling you know, because it has to be in such a small box. I knew that most people would probably send bling a flat back pearl. So I decided to gift everyone a roll of washi. So the washi is different, but it matches the collection. So, and it's pretty washi. So um, I think they'll like that for their um, dollar goodie. I also sent, just to add to that, these cute little things, it's paper soap. You get 20 sheet spread love, not germs. I thought that matched with the Crafty Love Kit and with everything that we're, you know, doing right now. And I couldn't take this off. I really wanted to, but they can just fiddle with it, but it just wouldn't come off for me. Um, hang this on your purse or your belt loop or what have you. And you wet these, uh, remove a sheet, you um, add a little bit of water, lather, rinse, and you got to go soap tissues. I've never heard of this before. And I saw it and I'm like, what? So it was pink and I liked it. So I decided to include that as an extra goodie. And then also for an extra goodie, I decided to um, add this cute little compact and it had a eye on it. And I did not like the eye. It's like, I didn't like it at all. So what I did was take some, um, some vinyl um, from uh, HTV Ront and put it on here. I cleaned off the eye that was under as best I could. I scrubbed it with Dawn and scraped it and heat tooled it to get the glue off. And and it's not the smoothest surface. You can see some of the ripples underneath, but I needed to put this on top um, to make it. And then I used elements from the sticker paper collection to adorn the top. Everyone says something different uh, on here, but it's all garden party sticker embellishments and they can have that as an extra we don't know our partners so that's why I didn't like put a name on it but that's that and then for our um, ribbon you have to have 18 inches this is what I have I went to Hobby Lobby and got these spools and I painted mine uh, pink with some um, chalk paint that I had and on the top I made a little um, topper with the paper the same paper that I have layered on here this uh really pretty damask paper and then added that little um gold sequin and then i have this trim which i thought was so so cute even though it's super fluffy and that's probably why my package won't close but this trim is so cute and fluffy and i love it and then under that trim so they have the 18 inches of that they have this gorgeous trim and it's so so pretty um so and that's 18 inches as well and I could have just left it like that, but not Tamika. She has to be extra. So um, everyone has this in their little box and hopefully they'll like it. All right. And then I have a little stick pin in there. Just like so. Trying to keep it out of the way so they don't get bothered by it. Okay. And I thought about shrink wrapping this, but... Um, you know, just so it can stay, but I really love the fluffiness of it all. So I decided to keep it like that. And then um, for 
the beads. They have, I have these little pillow boxes. I actually got these pillow boxes from Vanessa who is crafting with a smile. Uh, she sent, she gifted me some of these and they are so cute. And look at all these pretty beads. Like I said, it had to be just 15 beads and charm mix. So whatever you chose and I read it wrong. I thought it was 15, 15 beads plus 15 charms plus the accessories. So I had already shopped my stash and got all of my stuff that I needed. So I just kept it. So I have a budge. So this is going to be a nice chunky charm because my swap is <laughs> chunky. Um, so I, this is the collection of beads that I have. And I thought they were so, so pretty. I love this candy one. Oh my gosh, a little cute one, this little faceted one. I mean, they're just so pretty. And then I wrapped it around with just to have a little bow. I could do too much decorating because um, I don't have that much room in here. Um, and I just wrapped the this mesh that I've been using throughout the whole swap on top of the pillow box. Just a simple tie. And last but not least, I have the box of um, the, the stuff that goes with it. And that's this is using one of those Dollar Tree trays. And um, I saw somebody do this. Who did I see do? Oh my gosh, she made it for the dollar swap. She made it for the $5 challenge. Um, driving me crazy. I can't think of the name, but she made it for the $5 challenge. Um, and she used the bigger one, I think. She made it. I'll find If I find it, I'll have it. But anyway, I saw the tiny ones and I needed something to put my beads in because I couldn't figure out what I could do. So I did this and of course I shrink wrapped it there and I have just lots of little doodads in here. Um, this little tassel, the little candy bead. I have those spirals from the Dollar Tree. I have this uh, cute little iridescent tassel, two of those little jimmies. I have chain. I have jump rings. Um, there's a flower, there's a heart, there's a sun in here. Um, I have lobster clasp and I have flathead um, pins. Um, so really cute. Like I said, we read it wrong. I thought it was 15 and 15 accessories, but I'm sure they'll enjoy it. So that's all that I created. And then I just had it packed in here like so. I had like a little wall set up of the items one two three four and then this here like that and then we have our friend there in the middle and then since that was a little bit longer i folded that over and put this on top and this will go like so and then i'll i'll shrink wrap it she'll take our goodies out and everything will work just fine so um thank you guys so much for watching roxy thank you for uh allowing me to participate in your swap i hope everyone likes everything that i created and hopefully you're inspired if you like what i created please take a second a little millisecond to like this video and leave a comment and let me know what you guys think about this swap i'll talk to you guys soon bye